Hello everyone, Rich here again. This video is going to be about RSS feeds. You either know RSS feeds very well, or you don't use them at all. You may not even know what they are. That's okay because I'll tell you. And I'll tell you why you will use them, at least in Firefox. Now, I'm not particular to the Firefox browser, and I admit that. I actually prefer Chrome, but, 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 but. The live bookmarks feature in Firefox is one of the coolest features of the browser. As a matter of fact, it is so cool that it's a reason to have Firefox installed, even if just to use this feature and nothing else. Let's just say you're a big Google, uh, excuse me, Google Chrome fan. Chrome doesn't have anything like this, or at least not as good as Firefox does it. And uh, you don't need any plugins or extensions to use this, so I'll just show you how it works. Now first we have to set it up. Now I have a non-standard layout here, so I'm going to reset this to default. So I click Firefox menu, options, and then toolbar layout, and simply click restore default set, and click done. This brings back the little search bar they have and resets the buttons and so on. And then afterward I will click Firefox options, toolbar layout again, and there's a button that you can add here called subscribe. Now that does not mean subscribe to an email list. It does not mean that if you use it you will start getting spam or anything like that. The only way to describe how to read an RSS feed, RSS means really simple syndication by the way, is to subscribe to the feed. So you don't have to worry about spam, with, at least with RSS, because it has nothing to do with it. There's no real way to spam it. So. Anyway, I take this subscribe button, you'll notice that my icon turns into a little hand when that happens, meaning it, it is a selectable item. I left click hold and drag and I will put it right after, uh, right between the address bar and the left and right buttons. So it's there. And then click done. Now the final thing I have to do, let's just say, let me hide it first. Let's just say it looks, your Firefox looks like this. You need to see the bookmarks toolbar. I find the easiest way to do it is to tap your alt key once so you get this menu click view and then toolbars and then bookmarks toolbar so you see this okay now we are ready <coughs> excuse me to go now the first part that I will show you and I probably showed this in a video before but it definitely should be mentioned again is that you can subscribe to YouTube feeds without being logged into YouTube at all. So you can check on your favorite users videos by not even having a YouTube account which is awesome. And I'll show you how that's done. So I will go to PC Max YouTube channel, PC Media Net. Let it load up. Okay and the RSS feed, the subscribe icon lights up. So now it is actually selectable. I click, it goes to this page. Now you have a choice of between live bookmarks, Google and my Yahoo, just use live bookmarks. And click subscribe now. And make sure to put it into, you'll see some choices here, make sure it goes into bookmarks toolbar and then click subscribe. Now let me blank out this page to show you what happens. You don't have to blank out the page, by the way. I'm doing this so you can see it better. There's a new uh, button here, Uploads by PC Media. I click, and it shows all the videos. Bear in mind, I am not logged into YouTube, but I am subscribed to the channel via RSS. So what that means is that for any YouTube channel, public YouTube channel, I think they're all public, for the most part. Uh, you can just use RSS to subscribe to the feed and you can click this at any time to see the latest videos because it automatically does update itself. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. If I go to my personal YouTube channel, just to show a second example, and I will do the same thing. I will click this subscribe button and go to live bookmarks subscribe now make sure it's in the bookmarks toolbar and subscribe and let me blank out the page again again you don't have to blank it out so you can see it better click and it shows all the latest videos now there is no notification 
when anyone loads any uh, when any one of your feeds uh, let me try to say that right again there is no notification in email or anything like that whenever anyone uploads a new video to their channel you do have to manually go to each one of these and check them periodically but the point is you can do it without actually having a YouTube account and it will auto update itself which is cool now can you rename these put them in the folders and so on of course you can I can right click this and just do properties and then rename it let's just say I want to get rid of the uploads by part so I'll just place my cursor in there and hit the backspace key save now it's called that I'll do the same thing for this one and you can name it whatever you want by the way now let's say I want to put them in a folder okay for uh, easy organization purposes just take your mouse <coughs> excuse me anywhere in this bar in a blank area right click and do new folder and then call it I'll call this one YouTube so it's a YouTube folder there's nothing in here because I haven't put anything in there yet then I'll just take this one left click hold drag well, let me try that again oh can I do it from here oh Firefox don't allow that anymore oh okay I'll do the I'll do the cut and paste method okay forget what I just said a second ago go to <laughs> your feed right click left click cut dims out a little bit go over the folder right click paste should be in there did it move it it didn't work oh damn it alright we'll do it the other way fortunately I know how to do all this crap Firefox menu bookmarks show all bookmarks launches a window uh, let's see open bookmarks toolbar okay and I will take this one drag it there we go now it's doing what I want it to do much better <laughs> ah so anyway the bookmarks just go to Firefox menu bookmarks and then show all bookmarks and you'll get the bookmark the extended bookmark manager which is called the library you can do it that way now it's not just for YouTube feeds it's for any feeds so if I go to pcmech.com now you remember excuse me remember most websites do have a way to subscribe to them via RSS and sometimes you'll see multiple choices like this so I'll subscribe to pcmech's RSS feed and then subscribe now make sure it's in the bookmarks toolbar subscribe okay um, does the msn.com homepage have such a feature I don't know sometimes you gotta check this stuff new no. how about Yahoo no how about Huffington Post HuffPost.com yes does have it. Okay. So we'll subscribe to this one. Oh, it's got a bunch of... Oh, actually, this one gives you a lot of good choices. Full feed, latest news, blog, featured post, original feed, and wire services. Wow. Nice. Okay, so we'll just do full feed. And live bookmarks. Subscribe now. Bookmarks toolbar is subscribe. And again, I will blank out the page so you can see it better. There's all the stuff nice so if you're not using RSS feeds or you know you should because like I said there's a lot of stuff you can do a lot of stuff you can subscribe to without having to actually have to log into the site you can check it without actually going there like every for YouTube for example all this you can do without being on youtube.com at all it's fast it's a very easy way to check for new videos from the people you uh, subscribe to now, it's just just it's just faster and easier. There's no flash involved. There's no scripting involved. It just pulls the feed, and that's the way it works. So, I, and I think it is a reason to have Firefox installed, honestly. So try Live Bookmarks out. One of the very underrated features of the Firefox browser, and a damned good one. So, check it out.